Hello everyone, myself Hitanshi Acharya and this is task 4 sales prediction using python under internship program at Codesoft. And the main aim of this particular task is to predict the sales with the help of the different features like advertising platform and the product itself. So first of all, let's import some of the important libraries. In this case, I have imported NumPy pandas metroclip and seaborn and uh, i have imported the data set which is already given into the task lists list itself so yeah this is the same data set here the data set is uh, contains tv radio newspaper and sales column that means we have three advertising platforms tv radio and newspaper and corresponding sales okay so first of all let's visualize each of the platform so for that uh, and before that what I did is I have uh, printed the shape and I have also used the describe function to better visualization the statistical performance of our data set and from this we can able to see the count mean standard deviation main max and its etc and from this uh, particular describe function what we have observed is that average expense is spent is highest on the TV average expense spend is lowest on radio and maximum sale is 27 and minimum sale is 1.6 this is the basic observation that we can able to see very clearly and easily with the help of this describe function now for the visualization first what I did is I have drawn the pair plot of this whole the three uh, values with respect to the sales so here y axis uh, uh, corresponds to the sales and the x-axis correspond to TV radio and newspaper itself and what we can clearly see is here I have written also that when advertising cost increases as we can see here TV ads the sales will increase as well while the newspaper and radio it is bit unpredictable as we can see it is very scattered format into the radio newspaper which is exact opposite case into the TV. Now let's not limit ourselves with the pair plot. Uh, visualize further with the help of the histogram. So I have drawn the histogram of the TV which look like this. I have drawn the histogram of the radio which is look like this. I have drawn the newspapers histogram which will look like this. And what we get observation that majority sales is the result of the low advertising cost in the newspaper. So ultimately what is dominating the TV ads um, performance right so for that what I did I have used the heat map here and we can clearly see that which impacts more uh, with the help of the heat map here so what we can see that sale is highly correlated with the TV using the all the observations or visualization that we did earlier this is the final conclusion and what we get so let's train our model so before training i have splitted my data set with the help of this train test split function which is of the scikit-learn library and i have here used the 70 percent of the data set uh, in a training and 30 percent data set into the testing so let's see what this value look like so this is x trains value this is y train value this is x test value and this is y test value Okay, and now for the training, what I did, I have used the linear regression function from the scikit-learn library and I have used the predict method for predicting the particular uh, data sets and what I uh, given input as for the prediction, which is x test. So when I give the prediction uh, for the prediction, I have imported this x test. What I get result is this array. 10, 9, 12, 22, 16, etc. Let's check it with the y test. It has to resemble, right? So here it is 11, 12, 15, 15. That means so 10, 8, 12, 25. And what we got here is 10, 9, 12, 22. That means this particular uh, piece of the code is very much. Uh, able to reach the answer it is not quite accurate it is not that much of accurate because we have only uh, used the tv as the you know input column and not the other columns but if we add the other columns the the disparity or the accuracy will further go low and this is the highest accuracy which we can achieve with the help of this data set and uh, i have also 
given some of the live proof that why this value has been changed so after prediction our coefficient value is this our intercept value is 7 and let's uh, check it with the first column so the first value has uh, this particular value and that's why our data will uh, retain 10.931 let's see our prediction get 10.931 that means the uh, model has been doing particularly fine but the only flaw is the uh, accuracy will not go high with this data set only that's the thing and this is also the visual representation so concluding with saying that above mentioned solution is successfully able to predict the sales using advertising platform data set and those platform is one and only tv platform thank you so much